people, my name is Nicole and today I want to talk about What Light by Jay Asher. This is Jay Asher's newest book and his first solo book since 13 Reasons Why. I love 13 Reasons Why. It is one of my all-time favorite books. It's, you know, whenever I list like the books that have influenced me the most, that's always one of them. It's always on that list. So when Razorbill was kind enough to send me this arc, I was so thrilled, so excited to read it. It comes out on October 11th, so not too far away. Since the book has not come out yet, this entire review is going to be spoiler free. So first of all, I just want to start off by saying if you're going into this expecting 13 Reasons Why, don't. This is a very, very different book from 13 Reasons Why. I mean, you can tell similarities in like the writing style and all that jazz, but plot-wise, thematically, so very different. 13 Reasons Why is an extremely dark book. I mean, the main plot is that it's a girl talking about why she committed suicide. This, I feel like the best way to describe like the vibe of this book is that it's like one of those super adorably cheesy Hallmark Christmas movies in book form. So the plot of this is our main character is a girl named Sierra and her family owns a Christmas tree farm. So every year they pack up all their trees from their farm in Oregon and drive down to California where they sell their trees. So she spends from Thanksgiving to Christmas away from her friends back home and mainly hanging out with her best friend from California, Heather, and working at the family business. But this year is a little different, partially because it might be their last year down there and partially because she meets a cute boy named Caleb who has a little bit of a bad reputation. So this book was absolutely adorable, like I said. It's basically a Hallmark movie in book form. It felt a little weird reading in September since my family is one of those families with a very strict no Christmas before Thanksgiving policy, but it's Jay Asher, so I was willing to make an exception. I personally am someone who loves cheesy Christmas movies. During the holiday season, my DVR is always like 90% taken up by Hallmark and Lifetime movies. I am a sucker for all the cute romance tropes. They're all so predictable and I'm so okay with that because they're adorable and they make me happy and it's the kind of thing that you watch or read and it just makes you believe in love and magic and the Christmas spirit and how can you not love that? Sierra was such a great main character. She was funny and adorable and just the kind of character that you want to be friends with. You want to hang out with her. She seems like a really genuinely nice person. Heather was an awesome best friend. With just the right amount of humor and support, Heather is dealing with sort of her own problems all throughout this book in which she's struggling with the decision whether or not to break up with her own boyfriend, which provides a bit of a funny subplot. Another thing I really liked about this book was that Sierra has her friends back in Oregon and when she goes down to California, they didn't just disappear. That's something that I feel like happens a lot of the times in books when characters make some big life change or move away from their old friends. A lot of times it feels like you know, they might have one or two conversations, but then they lose touch really easily, and it, they just, they're not a big part of the story. And in the story, Sierra's friends are used to her leaving for the holidays, so they're always really good at keeping in touch, and they make sure to talk to each other a lot, and they actually contributed a lot to the story, which was a really nice touch. Sierra's parents were present, which that in itself is unusual for a YA book. Um, but they were very present, they were great parents. It has a nice little touch of their story sort of inspiring Sierra because they themselves met on the Christmas tree lot just like Sierra met Caleb. And Caleb is our main love interest in the story. My only issues with him were really just more of issues with my own personal taste in fictional guys. I tend to like my fictional boyfriends either a little more dark and broody or a little more dorky and sarcastic, whereas Caleb was just such a good person, like Boy Scout. So really the issue I had with him wasn't really so much of an issue, so much as just my personal preference. But he was perfect for Sierra. Their interactions were so cute, they played off of each other really well, and I feel it felt like their relationship grew and developed really, really well. You could see them falling for each other, which was just absolutely adorable. I loved the setting of the Christmas tree lot. Everything felt so festive, and it made me really wish that it, I was reading this around Christmas just because it got me in the Christmas spirit, but it's only September. But you guys should definitely pick this up save it for the holiday season. I think this would be great for anyone who's a fan of like Jenny Han's books or Casey West's books, or if you liked Stephanie Perkins' holiday romance anthology My True Love Gave to Me, this would probably be great for you. 
This is such a cute, adorable, fluffy romance. I don't think it really stood out as anything absolutely spectacular, but this does win the award of being the most Hallmark-like book I've ever read, which, like I said, I love cheesy Hallmark movies, so that was great for me. Like I said, it comes out on October 11th, so don't forget to pick it up then. Let me know any of your thoughts on this in the comments. I love you, and I will see you later. Bye!